Well, the families of people killed by San Francisco police are calling on District Attorney Brooke Jenkins to hold the officers accountable. Ann Makovic joins us now with more on their accusations and the DA's response. And the families of three people killed by police say that Brooke Jenkins is dragging her feet on these cases, potentially for political reasons, until after the November election. What do we want it? Now! What do we want? And they gathered to talk about three killings today. Keita O'Neill was shot and killed in 2017. He was a suspect in a carjacking in the Bayview when Officer Chris Samoya shot him while he was sitting in his patrol car through the window. Neal was unarmed, and the former DA, Chesa Boudin, charged the officer with homicide, but that criminal case is still unresolved. Then there was Luis Gangora Pat. He was shot and killed in the Mission District in 2016. Officers say he ignored their orders to drop a knife and lunged at them. The DA at the time, George Gascon, cleared them, but Boudin ordered subpoenas when he was recalled. That case again stalled. And then there was Sean Moore, an unarmed man shot during a confrontation outside of his home home in 2017. He died in 2020 from complications resulting from his injuries. Officer Kenneth Cha was charged with manslaughter by then Boudin, by then DA Boudin, but that criminal case is also unresolved. It's time for a change. It's time for the glass bubble that's been protecting the police officers for eons to be cracked. And my nephew's case is the one that can set that standard. In all three cases, the families were awarded millions of dollars in civil cases against the city. We reached out to the DA's office on the status of the criminal cases. They say they are in contact with the families, but they can't comment publicly because of the sensitive nature of the investigations.